and I'm not looking for sympathy for is the things that skit? I've done. This is not who I am. This is a skit. This is who I became. <laughs> <laughs> what the f kind of early 2000s BET shit was that? Huh? So I'm sure a lot of you remember this guy. At McMill. Tell, tell me you know the sign of the Let him know. I'm trying to get signed to Dream Chase. All this subway shit. All of this subway shit, bro. At Meek Mill, man. Let him know. I'm trying to sign to Dream Chase, bro. For those of you who don't recall, three years ago I made a video about actually him don't and his even name know this guy. Jumani, an extremely underground rapper who was trying to make it out the subway. Gambling at casinos, I took every chance. This My is twenty nuts. dollar loss turned a forty grand. Listen, man. Uh, you are so <laughs> cold. Uh, that volume. Way. No, I can respect anyone trying to do something with their art and it's not like this guy with How hasn't he been fired? How hasn't he been fired, bro? It's totally trash, so it's like follow your dreams, right? That is until you turn around and trash several places of business while being oh employed on the name of clout. Great A, CBS you're doing this as an employee? For some reason, Jamani thought that this reckless behavior would get him closer to his dream of being famous. All of this cloud chasing shit is temporary, bro. Deadass. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to be doing none of this. Is there I don't anyone? Know how I got to this point in my life. His demeanor in general reminded me of a oh kid who never got enough attention at home, and so he acted out in the classroom. But after he flew too close to the sun chasing clout, I honestly thought that this man would never get hired anywhere oh, ever shit. again. Not even jobs like Taco Bell, Walmart, <laughs> or Amazon. And recently that video had been getting some traction once again, and I wanted to see what this guy was up to. And three years later, he is still around, and this guy has a whole lot of stuff going on, and he documents almost every second of it. In the last 48 hours, I've oh actually watched countless videos of this man talking into his camera, and by yeah, now no, I think I do have a pretty good insight me. into he's his like... life. And basically, <laughs> the man does the exact same thing every single day everything's a copy of a copy of a copy <laughs> nah, he works a nuts. job he gambles he loses all his money he quits that job he then gets donations from viewers he gambles them away he gets hired somewhere else and the cycle continues apparently this man has been a degenerate gambler for the greater part of the last two decades leading him to a life of misery but it gets so much how does he than that. do it now, mainly jimani has been cycling in and out of minimum wage jobs from kfc to dollar tree to family dollar walmart and even taco bell i've had <laughs> more jobs than uh, most people my age because if you had more jobs than me that's kind of like that's a problem like why would you like i've had more than 30 jobs throughout my life and i'm 30. God like i already damn, said bro. when we first talked about him i thought he couldn't even get a job like this but apparently the background check either isn't that deep or they are so desperate for employees that they just don't care either way this these vlogs menace, it's not dog. uncommon for this man to work two or three different jobs in one day but it's also not uncommon for him to leave these jobs it's crazy as... because the job market is mad stiff right now and this thing is just getting hired to do it this shit is just getting hired them i'm ready to quit um i was working at a motel six and uh i just quit the job i just quit <laughs> Uh, there was a chance that I was probably going to end up getting fired anyway. Long story short, I got caught sleeping in the motel. Citing a variety of reasons for why he chooses to quit, with the main one being that he gets fired or quits once someone recognizes him from his past online activities. But when, you know, one per person recognizes me and then essentially ends up snitching on me to everyone else, um, it just creates a bad atmosphere for me. Regardless, this man is constantly fault, filming bruh. himself at work. They're snitching and one of the on jobs that he's fault, had for bro. the longest period of time was some sort of maintenance position at a Motel 6, where he goes <laughs> into random unoccupied rooms to get his rants off about his failed rap career and his problems with women. Basically, what I'm saying, too, is like uh, people were saying in the comments that um, f the reason why females don't want me is based on my circumstances. That's far from the truth. You know, uh, my circumstances make things a lot worse. Why people don't, people in general don't want to deal with me. But, you know, even in high school, I was having issues. With <laughs> the zoom in on his face is general don't pretty out. It's taking me but, out, bro. You know, even in high school, I was having <laughs> issues with girls. <laughs> Crazy dog. And I'm not even, I, don't, I, I think I'm cute. Like I, I've always thought I was cute, you know what I'm saying? But 
females, they women, girls at, at, at the age of 17, they didn't feel like that in high school. I was never really getting girls, and the, the girls the girls that I talked to, it, it never really went too far. Now, another running theme <laughs> here in these vlogs nuts. is actually a surprising amount of self-awareness. The man knows he has a gambling problem. I, sh I need to stop gambling because really my problem is gambling. Before I do anything, I need to stop gambling because it doesn't matter what job I get. I'm just going to take my paycheck and donate it to the casino. He knows he made That's the wrong actually, decisions like, in life. You got to get out of that, I have bro. a lot of narcissistic insane. characteristics. Um, oh my gosh, his phone is shattered. I have a lot of narcissistic characteristics. Dude, he's missing glass here, missing glass here. Like, he can cut himself just picking up his phone. Bro! Um, which led into um, just the way how I handle situations, like even with the clout chasing, um, my entitlement, things of that nature that hasn't benefited me long term. And he knows that he's ultimately stuck in a vicious cycle of mediocrity. You know, I, I've been unstable mentally, financially, emotionally. And the problem is that this guy never Damn. changes anything about his life. And his fans encourage him to be a degenerate at every turn because it entertains them. That's not to suggest that there aren't That's a lot so of people up. who have actively supported this man over the last year since he started popping up on TikTok. He is constantly getting donations with some of them of course being small from 5 to 20 dollars. But other times he regularly receives hundreds of dollars from people who like his content or want to see him gamble. Shout out to Tickets LLC see who sent me two hundred dollars um he said if you have zell i can i can help clay your debt hit me up now despite the bad economy some people just must have money falling out of their ass but hey it's still better to me than donating your hard-earned money to some streamer sitting at home in their mansion regardless the only thing he ever does with this money is either gamble it spend it on takeout or seemingly book a hotel room at a casino for the night it's clear at this oh point God, that his focus is shit no on longer there. on music as he states multiple times that he wants to be a full-time gambling content creator. Now that I'm not working, thankfully, I have more time to, to focus on being a content creator, but... And it's not that I don't want to stop gambling or I, I want to continue it, but what else am I doing with myself right now? I'd rather continue doing this because I look at the analytics and regardless of the people that tell me don't gamble, the analytics don't lie. The numbers is telling me people are watching this kind of content. And let's just say that this Jeez, guy is no brother. Phil Ivy. You can give this dude thousands of dollars, and I promise you he will blow it within 24 hours. And this is really where I get to the degenerate gambler part of this. Because bro can be saving up all this money that he's getting from these donations and change his life, bro. That's the point. That's the point. It's like, bro. Like, I understand what he means by, like, donating to somebody sitting in their mansion, especially if they're not providing any, like, entertainment to you, but, like, for example, like there's streamers out there who are successful, they're rich, obviously we know this, but they still get up on stream every day and they provide entertainment. Even if they're reaction YouTubers or reaction streamers, they'll still provide entertainment, bro. I have a few that I'm thinking of right now. I'm just not going to say names. Because this man has a serious problem that he claims So it's like supporting people who are, who are entertaining you and like replacing your TV for, for you know, sake of argument. That's fine. But like, if somebody is like all stream long, they barely talk and whatnot, and he, he, they're just getting donations, I, I can see why people are like, uh, I don't get why people are donating. You the know what I mean? part of 15 years, which but, is literally half his life. This guy is 30 years old at this point, and he is still begging anyone possible for help. At DDG, at Kaisana, at Aiden Ross, and anyone that's a streamer, content creator, rapper that's willing to put me on willing to put me on is crazy oh my god he's actually a cloud chaser he's like looking for handouts i need someone that that's famous i need a cosign i need someone that i need a cosign co me so i can monetize myself through their audience their following i want <laughs> bro literally a cloud chaser i need somebody to to cosign me so i can monetize myself through their audience yo make twenty thousand a month at meek mill Tell them to save me, bro. I'm in the trenches right now. I promise I'm gonna stop cloud chasing. Yo, Meek, Meek, bro. I'm gonna stop being a heathen. I'm gonna stop cloud chasing, bro. I just need you to save me, bro.
Now, honestly, this behavior Nuts. is pathetic, Wild but it does not dog. Really surprise me. I mean, at least this time, while begging for his meal ticket, he is not destroying a place of business. Overall, the guy does seem like he no longer wants to be a menace. And all I don't the understand how he never went to him, like jail for really any of that. He never anything morally wrong to anyone besides himself. Well, I guess come to think of it, there was that one time that he bought a hooker while working the front desk of a hotel. Uh, talk no about the choice that I made uh, while at work to um, es essentially pay a woman uh, to have there was a dog between um me and you the couldn't wait till after you clocked out my nigga it was that dog Yo, this nigga was on demon horniness bro <laughs> what the fuck woman so she was using google translator for anyone that's curious she was like, um me and this woman so she was using google translator for anyone the bitch didn't even speak english yo this is not dog this is the craziest shit ever bro this is crazy dude and that's curious i gave i, I think i gave her exactly 89 dollars. that was that was, i just had 89 dollars in my pocket in general jamani seems to have some major problems when it comes to matters of love middle school high school <laughs> elementary school college women <laughs> never wanted anything to do with me i talked about being like involuntarily celibate. I still don't want to be alone. Like, I'm thinking about my future. I'm probably gonna have like five dogs. I would often be <laughs> attracted dogs. to women that I'm not really attracted to. I will see a woman that I'm attracted <laughs> to, and then I will think about that woman while I'm by myself, and I will make love to myself because no one else is gonna make love to me. I really be disgusted with myself. Now, what, what the, the problem? What the fuck? What the fuck is bro talking about, dog? This is insane, dude. This nigga is wild, bro. What the fuck? With the way this guy gambles, is that he only ever plays roulette, which is very low on the control element when it comes to gambling. At least on the slot machines, you can play around with your odds and the different lines. Or if you're betting on sports or even horses, there's obviously an element yeah, of bro, knowledge why you in history roulette? to help you make your decisions. Ironically, roulette. There's obviously Poor an boys. element of knowledge and history to help you make your decisions. Ironically, just roulette is a moving, game bro. that is always the same and pretty much based purely on luck. And much like his life, it's the same cycle over and over and over again. Like he keeps losing money on it, but he still goes back the next day. At the casino right now, I lost two thousand dollars, and that ain't no one's fault but my own. Now keep in $2, mind, your money is actually very transparent about everything. Often showing screenshots of his bank accounts with negative balances. There is Struggled, times where he struggling. shows off the screenshots of his bank accounts with. Bro named his account "Struggled Struggling." Away. Negative balances. There is times where he should. How does you? How does one even get negative nine hundred dollars, bro? Goes off the negative balance in the morning and is in the casino that night, getting deeper into debt. Before I go to the casino, I came to the bank because I want to deposit fifty dollars. My bank account's currently overdrafted, two hundred twenty-one dollars. So I'm gonna do that before I go to the casino. Fine. You're not even gonna get the shit. Back Obviously, into... he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he even... Yeah, no, he's not. You're not gonna at least get your account back in, like, flat before you go to the casino and spend more money? him doing one of the stupidest things Bro, I've ever seen iPad? a person do all in the name of gambling. So what this man will do is go down to the Apple store, buy a $1,000 iPad, and then go and pawn it off for $300, documenting the... Just so he can gamble with the cash. Entire process. So I lost all my money at the casino last night. And result, I'm taking my credit cards and I'm gonna go to Apple, get an iPad, then take that iPad. Oh my God, he's committing fraud. Oh my God, he's doing fraud. He's using his credit cards to buy something which isn't his money. And then going to the, going to the pawn shop, getting the fucking money for the thing and using the money to gamble bro this thing is fraud bro this thing is committing fraud bro and bring it to the pawn shop for cash to go back to the casino so this is the ipad pro why why also this apple store looks very familiar bro the casino so this hold on a second this is the ipad pro i'm gonna give
No, this isn't the one I was. This this isn't the one I worked at. It's gonna be a little bit more than a thousand dollars after taxes. Now I've been coming to this pawn shop for about ten years since I started gambling, right? For me, so I wouldn't be surprised if I get two fifty for this. Uh, if they offer me two hundred, that's gonna be flat. Bro bought a brand new iPad, an iPad Pro. Oh, I don't know if that's the eleven or the thirteen inch. An iPad Pro. But yeah, I got it's just the same amount of money that an iPhone costs. It is probably the 13 inch because if it's a thousand dollars, yeah. After 300, so let's go to the. And they gave him 300 for it. Casino and nuts, let's see what bro. <sighs> so just so we're clear on the math, he opens up a credit card, he charges a thousand dollars for an Apple product, and then he turns around and pawns it for 300 dollars cash. Starting him with a net $700 loss as he heads into the casino. And then he goes and loses that money at the casino, meaning he effectively loses $1,000 in one day. I gamble for the drug. Honestly, guys, tell me that is not the dumbest and that the most so degenerate dumb. thing you've ever seen a gambler do. And he documents himself doing it over Gambling and over is so again. Bad for even you, bro. saying that he has been doing this same hustle to get quick cash for the last 10 years. How the fuck can he still open credit cards, bro? That's my question. His credit is beyond fucked. There's no way he can just keep opening credit cards, bro. This is going to the pawn shop going to the casino. What's up? It's Jamani. I tried to overdraft my bank account to go to the casino. I just lost $280. All right, so y'all can laugh. Y'all can laugh if you want. Y'all can laugh if you want. Ah! And the dude... <laughs> Laugh if you want. You can laugh if you want. Ah! <laughs> segment was hilarious. Y'all can laugh if you want. Y'all can laugh if you want. Ah! <laughs> and the dude can even. <laughs> Dog, it's hurting you so bad, and you still keep doing it. Stop gambling, Make some nigga. Money every now and then, you know, a blind squirrel even finds a nut made a little bit more than i made about 200 dollars. but don't worry because the very next <laughs> he loses night it. he loses it all you just see me watch, lose 800 dollars, right um that's the last time you're gonna see that you're not gonna see it again no i won't lie to you guys there have been some pretty wholesome moments in these vlogs as well like when jimani runs into a fan out in the street i watch your tiktoks bro i appreciate it bro huh I got, I'm doing. I'm recording a vlog right now. Oh my God! I'm sorry you, you good? You, you good, bro? Can I get a, a picture with you though? You wanna get in this vlog? Yeah. It's good, bro. What's, What's up, man? man? Oh, he blocks him too. That's corny, man. Man, all right. Shout out to man. I'm just chilling, riding through the city. Or when he tries to give or his maybe he didn't. advice maybe on that how guy to not end up like him. I'm not happy with the choices I've made, and I'm not looking for sympathy for this the things that skit? I've done. This is not who I am. This is a skit. This is who I became. I mean, sometimes things can even get a little- <laughs> What the fuck kind of st early 2000s BET shit was that, bro? <laughs> oh my god. Little bit motivational. I don't believe what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I believe what doesn't kill you immediately kills you slowly. Now, sadly, all this has led- Nah, this is, this is some early BET shit, bro. <laughs> Early 2000s BET movies. <laughs> Yo, dude, early 2000s BET movie quote head ass, bro. Came to deeper and deeper desperation, selling his NFTs he paid a lot for back when they were popular, and really doing anything he can Who's to feed his gambling NFTs? addiction. I'm essentially gonna title this video selling my NFTs to go to the casino, because that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Literally sad, a Boondocks I, I episode. A lot, but. You know, this is the price of- Bro's about to sell his DC cards? Gambling addict. Even Just for gambling? And the thing is, he's self-aware. He's like, yeah, man, this is the daily life of a gambling addict. You're about to sell these price- Well, not priceless, but like these- These- These cards. These rare cards. Just so you can go gamble and lose the money? And you know it. And I, I invested a lot, but- you know, this is the price of being a gambling addict. Even when he collects hundreds to thousands of dollars from YouTube and TikTok revenue, which you would think would be a positive sign towards him being able to be a full-time content creator, he but still he ends up- he spends it dumbly, or he spends it really stupidly. 
Bro made $284 in the last seven days on YouTube. Like, that's amazing, bro. Doing that money, too. He overspends on food. He overspends on places to stay. And it's just the same thing over and over again. I mean, this man is sleeping on the floor and then gambling $2,000 he made by pawning off iPads he purchased on credit. That is insanity. <laughs> I mean, one thing I will give Jamani credit for is that he clearly does have work ethic. For the last year, he that's has true. made content almost daily. And while yes, most of it is damn near the same thing every single day, the man is still trying to pursue his dreams while dropping the cloud chasing antics. And for this, he has built up a little fan base for himself. Overall hey man, I'm not gonna lie, that part of it, I rock with it, bro. That part of it, I rock with it. The fact that he's getting up and recording and doing shit every single day, and he's building an audience. That part, I fuck with. It's the part where it's like, okay, TikTok just paid you $500, dude. TikTok just paid you $500. You made 284 in a week on YouTube. And you're still going to casinos and blowing all that money within 24 hours. It's like, bro, there's people who want this to be their career, including myself, that would like not kill, so to speak, but would love to be in a position to where TikTok is paying me $500 a month or I made $200 in a week on YouTube. I would love to be in that, that position right now. All I really can't appreciate someone like this because it shows not only the pitfalls of doing dumb shit to try and go viral online, but also the downside to being so obsessed with gambling, which is becoming a major problem for younger adults all around the world. I mean, over the last three years, this guy could have got a better job, he could have got educated, he could have really made a greater effort to leave the past behind. That's true. But honestly, he didn't. And now it is sad to see how much time this guy seems to spend alone and how isolated his life is. But at some point, he has to let go of who he was and who he wanted to be to become this new version of himself. He often talks about times in high school and even middle school. I really used to talk to this girl every day. I really had this girl in the palm of my hands, bro. There, there was a time where I, like, I, was a diff I was different when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Like, this girl's way out my- You know what's kind of wild about this? I could low-key see him with a girl like this. I'm not different. even gonna lie to you. I could low-key see him with a girl like this. Maybe if he grew his hair out a little bit, maybe. When I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Like, this girl's way out my league now. But. And it's like, dude, you're 30 years old. It's time to let that teenage angst go. And that, I know some that's of you also might not true. agree with this, but honestly, I do wish Jamani the best. I can definitely appreciate that he's trying to drop the clout chasing ways and that he's been earning an honest living for the last couple of years. Like, like even if he's doing all that dumb shit with the iPads, at least the only person who he's scamming is really himself. Yeah, he's And I don't know, part of, part of me himself, does actually pause. feel bad for him because it does seem like his life is pretty tough. Not saying that he didn't do it to himself, but damn, watching some of these videos is pretty depressing. I have to do better. I know I feel it You got time, to, bro. I I really have to do at better. some but point at some point bro the the desire to have a better life needs to be higher than your desire to fucking uh gamble bro at some point your desire to have a better life needs to ha be higher than your desire to gamble bro and that's with a lot of addictions that's with a lot of vices it just your your desire to change and be better and have a beautiful life needs to be higher than your desire to do whatever you're addicted to bro but I want to know that's the that's the foundation of overcoming an addiction. I'm not even gonna lie to you. What you guys think about Jamani after this three year update? I'm telling you guys, time flies fast. A lot has happened for myself over the last three years, and this really does make me really appreciate my life and the brain that God gave me and the hand that I was dealt. Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Look at Dropping homie, bro. Like he got all these shoes in the bag, all these retro games. He making next. money. We know but this. as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. Shout out to Tan Superman. some other cloud chasers out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Hey, man, I, I do wish that man the best of luck, though. I really hope he gets what he deserves in terms of, like, he's getting rid of the shit. I hope he gets over the gambling shit and then finally becomes, like, a full-time content creator. Like, I'm, I'm actually, like, rooting for him low-key.